Uh, hello everyone. I am Shruti Patel, uh, a junior research fellow in the Slotware Corridor and Outreach Project from in Western India. So today I'm presenting our work on mitigating human slotware conflicts in Western India through community outreach and stewardship. As we know, slothware is one of the eight species of the world. And but now this uh, this is well now this is only it is a one of the species of the world whose uh, habitat is shrinking day by day. Uh, chiefly, it is found in uh, three countries of uh, uh, Indian continent: India, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. And in uh, India. percent of the of its population in india it's it is a mainly distributed plain thick forest of uh, north india to rocky areas of southeast india the, this all data is uh, achieved by iucn uh, red list assessment of two uh, slots where are facing multiple problems which are creating a question for its existence. The first one is a habitat degradation. Habitat degradation not only affects on quality of slothware habitat, but also decreases the resource availability within its habitat. Second most uh, threat is a human bear conflict. It is, it is now at a very se serious stage, like Slothware is one of the most uh, second most at attacking species of the India, and other other uh, threats are changing in land use pattern, lack of awareness in uh, normal uh, local peoples, and illegal trade of uh, bare body parts. Uh, talking about the second most uh, threat of uh, slothware, it is not only th threat for sloth bear, but uh, also very fatal and negatively affect to local people around the sloth bear habitat. These two photos are from our uh, study area uh, where two men were uh, attacked by sloth bear and got very heavy injuries. Uh, talking about the sloth bear attack on people in India, 60% of conflicts between human and sloth bear are turns out due to attack of uh, sloth bear on human. Among them, uh, and uh, uh, in India, more than 200 cases are recorded in government files. Uh, among that uh, 200 cases, around 60% of uh, attacks are recorded in non-protected areas and half of them are within village boundaries. And this, is, this data only shows what we have recorded or government have recorded there might be more attacks and uh, more human bear conflicts in the government, we don't know. And we have noticed in our area that m most of people, almost everyone doesn't know about the, or doesn't aware about the sloth bear behavior and ecology. And they have also, several myths uh, about slothware. Uh, this half knowledge and unawareness directly affects on their mindset or hostile uh, about this slothware. And it, it is a one of the, it is only reason of human bear conflict in India. Talking about our state, Gujarat. Gujarat is the western most limit of uh, sloth bear distribution in the world. Uh, Gujarat has around 340 or 340 sloth bears in three distinct forest species of North Gujarat, Central East Gujarat, and South Gujarat. Uh, according to our previous uh, research through ecological modeling, show, uh, have found out that these four patches are 
connected with each other with uh, corridors one of, one of these corridor is corridor between ratan mahal and jambugoda sanctuary uh, the distance between ratan mahal and jambugoda slothwe sanctuary is uh, around 3 3 Uh, sorry, th 35 kilometer, and uh, that uh, is uh, is covered more than hundred uh, villages, and in this small part of forest, more than hundred uh, sloth bears are inhabited. And uh, okay, this uh, these are photos from our study area. the area is a mainly dependent on agriculture activity and people are living uh, to close sloth bear to close the <coughs> sloth bear uh, reg, which makes them regular uh, which makes them regular interaction uh, with sloth bear and uh, the and this uh, interaction are most of uh, negative interaction so most of the time they they are attacked by sloth bear or they are uh, they are like their trees which are like fruiting trees are <coughs> fruiting trees are uh, ruined by sloth bear uh, etc etc so this condition implants very negative thoughts or a negative uh, conception about sloth bear within area which or uh, drives them away from so uh, coexistence with sloth bear so to promote coexistence within area or make them more tolerable about sloth bear reasons our lab have uh, co collaborate with forest department of gujarat uh, iuc and the best specialist group bear trust uh, international and many other organization an established one project uh, this project is named as atmarat sarva bhuteshu atmarat sarva bhuteshu is sanskrit phrase which means you should treat everyone every species from this earth as a ourselves so uh, in this uh, in this project we have collaborate cross sector and the and activities of awareness is mainly uh, doing by a two parts or like two main activities which we uh, which we are doing in this project first is a uh, bear safety education bear safety education is a uh, convey to uh, local people and which which will de decrease the conflict and increase the tolerance of the Where which will directly build a path for a sloth bear conservation. Uh, second is ecology and awareness education. Awareness. Uh, this education is uh, is implanting a positive attitude uh, among local people, uh, which will drive them for a sloth bear conservation in near future. Uh, initially, we have started with uh, a uh, awareness program in a school children. uh the this were uh, this program were uh, like two way conversation where we uh, we are asking questions to children and got to know about the, their perspective as well as they will uh, they they knew us and second we also took part in a village uh, assemblies this this man with turban is a village head one of our team member is talking with him to know perspective of local people uh, about the sloth bear the second the other things of aware people in a small groups or door to door visits uh, we have also conducted uh, interviews of 249 households from 18 villages where we have classified obtain uh, <coughs> obtain uh, information uh, uh,
according to their occupation, sixty nine percent of people are a farmer. And twenty percent of household are uh, uh, housewife, uh, and others are a businessman, students, laborers, uh, forest staff, uh, and uh, businessmen. And then th this graph shows this. Uh, These graphs are obtained from our uh, previous interviews, where. it shows that only 20% people are aware means they know something about the uh, sloth fair only 20% people are there and uh, most of people are still unaware about the status of sloth bear and its conservation which which signif which reflect of us uh, reflect significant of our study so th this is out the center which uh, we have established in ratan mahal wildlife sanctuary so uh, this is this is uh, not only for a local people but also for uh, tourists uh, who are visited ratan mahal sanctuary regularly so uh, so it is a first of its own kind in india for a sloth bear so uh it it has a, its own significant in a century because of its uniqueness it uh, it displays uh, all the aspect related to sloth bear starting from a general ecology uh to threats of sloth bear and uh, also it uh, it conveys the uh, bear safety education to local people the other thing is uh, we we have a establish uh, we have a develop a manual for local field staff so uh, it is a mainly used by local forest field staff uh, we we have developed this uh, manual as a part of uh, bear day in 2019 and this manual is may, uh, mainly help to uh, field staff for their regular monitoring uh and we we have also uh, develop a one documentary film on the sloth bear for a mass awareness program uh, in this of uh, in this film we have included all the aspects related to sloth bear of uh, starting for gender ecology to bear safety education everything so uh, this this is a uh, this is uh, available on website of w uh, sorry youtube channel of wcv research foundation and it's free to download in, in this film uh, bollywood star mr amitabh bachchan have gave his uh, video video message which is creating very mass uh, mass is impact on uh, locals we have also created a sloth bear awareness booklet booklet in a local language is gujarati and uh, english so uh, it is freely distributed distributed in uh, local people including children to adult everyone and uh, it is uh, giving uh, it is giving awareness in uh, local language because most of the uh, research with, as a scientist we are doing it is in uh, english so most of people uh, in india or in gujarat can't understand english so we have uh translate all the knowledge about the uh, sloth bear in a gujarati gujarati to make them easy understand and uh, th this is a lecture series on uh, bears of india as we as we know like in 2021 we all have faced a very critical period of corona pandemic Uh, so in this time our work was also affected and uh, got slow down so to you us that uh, pandemic period we have organized one live lecture series on bears of india amongst more than 4000 viewers of 14 countries we have also uh, organized one story writing competition uh, this is a paper cutting of a local gujarati newspaper where they are promoting our uh, 
story writing competition amongst people uh, we got very good response from across the world uh, we got around 32 stories from all age groups and after the lockdown in sub in month of september with very limited field uh, forest field stuff we have also organized one uh, field based uh, workshop where it was a three days workshop with 40 participants where we have also uh, developed a manual uh, in local gujarati language for only forest field stuff to uh to uh, aware to aware them about the monitoring of sloth bear uh, for a sloth bear rescue and investigation guidelines for a wildlife attack on a humans uh, this is a lastly in a recent we have also uh, designed one activity booklet for a sloth bear uh, it it is available in two languages gujarati and english so uh, it uh, combines more 20 activities different activities like uh, coloring drawing uh, and uh, word word search word maze and which which gives very easy and which gives knowledge of uh, sloth bear to children without any hassle or without any boredom uh, so uh, the, we are distributing this uh, activity booklet freely in uh, local people where we are working but we are also selling this uh, booklet on a website of wcb foundation for raise a uh, fund for our uh, project so uh, this is this is what what we are doing to save sloth bear and people around it uh, so i i we, we are hoping that it will develop uh, um essence amongst people to and uh, promote them to quen unique species so uh, uh the uh, this is and of course uh, it uh, this uh, work will uh, last for uh, two years and after that it will uh, carry out by uh, by uh, local youth which 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 will train by us so for this i am welcoming all your suggestions all your views about the uh, work and uh, uh, let let us like if you are giving any suggestion i'm i'm ha very happy to plan them to make our project very impactful and uh, impactful and very like long run which which can create a more, a more impact so like thank you